So what is the difference between commercial farming and subsistence farming? Well, here we're looking at a harvester combine and a tractor, and this is commercial farming, commercial grain farming to be more specific. Now look at this picture. This is also commercial farming. This was painted in 1828, and it depicts a story that took place about 2,000 years ago, and it is also commercial farming. The word commercial is based on the word commerce, which means buying and selling. So commercial farming is food that you grew intending to sell. Now, so what other kind of farming is there? Well, if you grew up in a city anywhere in the world, you would think of it as, you could call it personal farming, but you might also call it gardening, right? If you garden vegetables and then your family eats them, that's the opposite of commercial farming. But of course, it's done outside of cities in places that aren't usually the United States or Russia or China, and it's called subsistence farming, which you could call survival farming. And that's where you're growing it because you and your family are going to eat it. Okay, so we've done it. We have defined commercial farming and subsistence farming. And we could just stop right there. But I think it is important to take a little bit of time and unpack the word subsistence because it carries a lot of baggage. So look at that first syllable, sub. We already know that means below. And so if you, if you think about existence farming versus subsistence farming, what you're really saying is that it's worse than some other form of farming, right? It's barely getting by. It's death around every corner. And that concept that if you aren't using farming to make money, then you're not doing it right is so imperialist. But if you go onto YouTube right now and type in the word homesteading, what's going to come up in your search results? are a bunch of these formerly imperialist populations that used to say this kind of farming was not good, they are now re-embracing it. And so traditional cultures have been saying all along it's great, and now suddenly the people who were telling them it was wrong, well, it's right again or something.